Picolabs is a free AI video generator that makes short videos with your image or text prompts. Today I guide you through a step-by-step -step tutorial to using this tool and better understand its features. By using this tool you can add visuals to your content and bring your images to life. First of all, open Pika.art website. Pika 1.0 will be available soon. You can sign in with Google or Discord to join the waitlist to use this update. This version will be available on both Discord and web. For creating 3-second videos and animating images, you can use the current Pika server on Discord. For this, click on Discord. Accept the invite to enter the Discord server. In the Prompt Tutorial channel, you can read some tips for prompting. To get help from others, go to the Prompt Help channel. I suggest you visit channels and get more information. There are several generation rooms, enter one of them. You can see many generations. You can create your video here. Use PikaBot if you want a private room and you want to easily track your work. To do this, click on Member List icon. Right-click on PikaBot and select Message. Now you have a place to chat directly with PikaBot. If you want to create a video, write slash create and write your prompt, then you can press tab button three times or click on plus one and select image. Drag and drop your image or press the button and select your mage to create a video based on it. Adding an image is optional and you can add only a text prompt. To animate an image, write slash animate then upload your image. You can write a text prompt, which is optional. For this press tab button three times, or click on plus one and select prompt. For writing your prompt, be clear and write what you want to see. Remember that you get a three second video, so give the AI instructions based on that. Let's go over a few points and then create some examples together. Pika supports some parameters in text prompt. When you write a prompt, it's better to use these parameters to get the best result. With this parameter, you can specify aspect ratio for the generation result. With this, you can add negative prompt. Negative prompt is something you don't want to see in your result. By using FPS, you can set the number of frames per second. You can use numbers between 8 and 24. The default value is 24. By using motion, you can determine level of motion in generated content. You can use numbers between 0 and 4. 4 is for higher movement. The default value is 1. Seed can help you create consistent generation or make different results. When you download the result, you can show seed number in result name. Guidance scale can change how closely Pika adheres to your text prompt. A higher score indicates greater compliance with your prompts. Recommended range is 8 to 24 and the default is 12. The camera parameter allows you to control the movement of the camera in your video. You can zoom in or out on your video. Combination is currently not supported. You can move the camera left, right, up, or down and combine movements. You can't combine left and right directions or up and down directions at the same time. You can rotate your video. CW is for clockwise rotation. CCW is for counterclockwise rotation. ACW is for anti-clockwise rotation. CCW and ACW both do the same thing. Let's create a video. Go to the message bar and type slash create. Then enter your prompt and add the required parameter. You can add an image and create a video based on it. I want to create my video with just a text prompt. Press enter and wait until your video to be ready. You can see the result. You can download the video from here. You can add reaction by like or dislike. By pressing the refresh icon you can generate the video again. 
By pressing the shuffle icon you can edit your text prompt and press submit button to recreate the video. By pressing this icon and filling in the blank, you can delete the result. Let's create a video with source image. Write slash create. Write your prompt. Upload your image and press enter. Wait for the result. You can see the result. You can edit the prompt and create it again and get results based on what you want. Let's animate an image. In the message bar type slash animate, then press tab button and upload your image. You can delete your image and add another one from here. You can add text prompt. Press enter and wait. You can see the animated result. You can download it or create it again. If you want a longer video, do these things. Open the Final Frame website. Upload your video and download the final frame. In Pika Labs, enter your previous text prompt. Download the previous video and write seed number here. You can find seed number in video file name. For the image, upload the image that you got from the Final Frame website. Press enter and get the result. If you need a longer video, you can repeat this work. Use video editors like Premiere, CapCut, or whatever you want to merge and edit your videos. See the result. If the video was helpful, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Use different prompts and parameters to better understand which one is best for your work. Share your experience with Pika Labs in the comments below. Stay with us for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.